Right guys, Mike Wienerbach here giving tips. Today is about the squat. So you enter anywhere, anyhow, any gyms like, yo bro, you got a squat. Yes, to some extent. The problem is most people can't. The average person, when they, when they come to the gym, they will do something like this, right? The knees collapse inward, they go forward. So now if you put a bar on this person's back, it's gonna be chaos. If you put a bar on this guy, then this will get so much worse. It's like sort of a good morning, knees buckled in. So that doesn't mean you should squat. So the squat done properly, you know, like feet tilted out, push the floor away. And since we're bodybuilders, we don't lock out. It's a great exercise. So what can be done is you start just developing tension. So you body weight squat, coming down and you just drive, 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 come to here, pushing the floor away, pushing the floor away, fantastic tool. Um, also for beginners or if you don't have a spotter or whatever and you just want to burn out, the, the cable squat works extremely well. You can do things where you start with, let's say, a narrow stance, you fatigue, you go wide, you add small reps, because there's no worry about falling forward, right? If your gym has one of those, they're tremendous. There's people with like spinal issues or so, because you can just go from here, it kind of forces you, because if you're leaning forward, it's gonna pull you. Then there's this little beauty, the sissy squat setup, um, can be used, I got really big feet so I don't quite fit here, I think, actually I do, yay, so it can be used to learn the squat, because you're forced to sit back, or you pre-exhaust, post-exhaust, after the leg press, so you're going now. The leg press for all its poo-pooing is really a squat, right? And because it's pretty safe, it gives you the ability to work, let's say, more quad heavy as you're here, then you could do more of a little bit of an hamstring intention. And then lastly, you work your glutes as you go on top, as you fatigue. Also do single leg work. This way you can actually figure out which leg is better. Range of motion, by the way, is not this. This is too far. Whatever you can pull down is where you go, just like so. So that's that. Then there are the ugly ducklings, the forgotten little squats. So, Lunges, right, are also squats. So there would be the classic one, just up and down. If you're falling forward, you'll be working more on the glute. If you're sitting up tall, it'd be more on the quad. You could do a stepping back lunge or the sif lunge. Um, walking lunges, people, dumbbells only. You walk with a barbell, you're doing more work balancing anything than actually lunging. And then lastly, the step up. Step ups are not hop ups. This leg does nothing. One leg goes up and you drive it through. You don't lock out, soft knee. That's also a squat. So, in conclusion, you have to squat, but it doesn't have to be the barbell squat. Again, figure out what works for you, do it well, keep tension, get gains. Mike out.